we had about five of them stacked up here and about two or three of them stacked up here. And when I came in to check the alarm, it was at 2.45, I got the call. So I was like, I'm going to drive in and just check in case someone threw a beer bottle through a window or something. And um, checked everywhere. All the doors are locked. No, nothing's broken. But this book is sitting round about right there. And it's just one book. And all the rest of them. And the only place we had those books at the time was up here. And you look at those all because they're not standing up. Yeah, they're it's. Down. They're pretty, like, so it's yeah, like and to think if, if you wanted to say the cats, uh, you know, that's pretty pretty amazing if they could get up there and not knock off four yeah. or five other books. Um, you know, he has a pretty checkered history from what I understand in the area. So I don't, and I don't know it well enough. Um, to know about him. I know that he um, he came from Texas and he was supposedly running from the law. He had killed his sister's husband because she, he was abusing her. Wow. And um, so I don't know if he spent any jail time or if he just immediately took off and ran. But then he made it up here and then made a fortune off of uh, putting a toll bridge over up on the Rio Grande. Yeah. And then he would put... Uh, uh, I think he put a hotel on each side, and then he would shut the bridge down to where nobody could go through it at night or in the morning, and you'd have to stay the night at his hotel, Clever. and then he'd open the bridge up, and then you'd have to pay to go through his toll. Um, so, um, you know, this, from what I understand, this part of the house was a balcony-type area, okay. um, and up at the front is where the, um, the original Yeah. Um, but they've got a picture of him sitting right about here in a rocking chair. Um, you know, so, um, you know, I don't know uh, if it's him. The one thing that threw me off is um, when I'm working late at night, I, I'm painting upstairs. We bought this door in August, and um, I would hear sounds like the door open, and I would come downstairs thinking that there might be someone that's here, and I'd check it out, and there's not a person here. Check the door, make sure it's locked. It's locked. Um, I'd go back upstairs, keep working, hear that door hinge again. It sounds like it's going, someone's opening the door. Um, and, but the one that threw me off the most was, it was about 2.45 one night, and I was extremely tired. I was ready to leave. I'd been up there painting for way too long. And um, so I shut everything down, and I came up to the front desk here to grab some uh, book stands. For the, uh, some of our books were just laying over. And as I knelt down here, um, I had my head down, was grabbing the book stands, and I heard a voice. It was plain as day, and it said, are you leaving? But it was a female's voice. So it totally threw me off, because oh, everything I thought I heard, in terms of, I've heard what I thought sounded like footsteps, um, they all sounded heavy, like it was a boot type sound. Um, mm -hmm. But to hear a female voice, and I don't know any history of the females that have been here, so it really threw me off, and I goosebumps just went up the back of my neck. My hair was standing on end. And I immediately looked, though, because I could discern that it sounded like it was just literally right here. Wow. Um, and see, I get goosebumps as I talk about it. Because it, it didn't sound uh, mean or it, it even bothered, really. It almost sounded like a, a well-educated lady almost asking if I had been working too long. It was like, hey, are you? Are you going home yet? You know, you need to go get some rest. It's, it sounded really just kind of almost nice, like they were concerned, but nonetheless, it was disturbing to me, and so I immediately said, yes, I'm leaving, and I packed up and went ahead and left.
and we just went lights out, set up cameras and recorders in every corner, and uh, we're setting up a mock-up here of closing time, and that way we can see if there's any results taking place without anybody present. That we were gone, uh, and we started conducting a physical uh, investigation. Whereas when we left the building, we just kind of let everything run on its own. And uh, how would you say it best? We kind of pretended like we shut down the place. Uh -huh. and mm -hmm. But when we came back upstairs and started to physically investigate, I had my video camera and a handheld recorder. Um, I set the recorder down and I started filming. And when I was filming, I had a sensation of something blasting through my upper body. Mm -hmm. Kind of from behind me, I was standing where you're mm -hmm. sitting right now, facing in the same direction. And uh, it just felt like something went through me from that direction right towards here. Mm -hmm. And I uh, kind of got a little bit dizzy. I tell Melly, whoa, I just, you know, I felt really weird. And uh, she says, what did you experience? So I'm trying to explain, and I'm saying it kind of went through my upper torso, it kind of went through my head. And uh, one of the EVPs that we caught, it actually kind of ex explains what, what, where it went through. It, it supplied, it finished his sentence. Finished my sentence. What other personal experiences did we have? My daughter fell asleep uh -huh. here. And uh, her devoted boyfriend stood guard over her uh -huh. all the time. Uh -huh. <laughs> and uh, it, it was very sweet. But I noticed as I come up the stairs um, being winded. Now, I know that you have fresh carpet uh -huh. up here, and so there's, there's a smell. Uh -huh. and, but I'm not really chemically sensitive or anything right. like that. But I had feelings like my lungs were being squeezed and with the, the mm -hmm. autonomic reaction of, mm -hmm. of breathing, it's like I forgot yeah. how. And uh, the closer I would get to Ella, uh -huh. the more I would feel it. I've had that feeling before. Well, something interesting what you were saying about the, the dizzy type feeling. And something I didn't mention to you that night and I hadn't brought it up because I hadn't put mm -hmm. maybe two and two together, but um, the day before, or the day of, that y'all were coming here, um, about two hours before I came here, I, and this was at home, and then even when I got here, I felt like vertigo type, mm -hmm. where I was, mm -hmm. I was feeling like I was... Some inner ear stuff? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, or like I had been... If I'd been out and Puffy been drinking just a little bit or something, or, yeah, yeah, just kind I of like taking a breath, not feeling well, doing, you uh -huh. know, like yeah. doing turpentine or yes. or something, yes. it, it, yeah. And I just so that was a, a, an interesting thing that I that day that I remember, and I thought I was getting sick, mm -hmm. and um, so I just kind of blew it off. And but the next day, I was just fine. I hadn't been sick, so. Now. This is not a dusty place. You guys keep up with the dust, mm -hmm. and it's really clear. Mm -hmm. And with this carpeting being new, uh -huh. um, the the chances of us being in here stirring up dust.
to be visible is uh -huh. kind of remote. Sure. Uh -huh. Okay. So you can see this orb right here, mm -hmm. right? And you know, here's the uh, the similar view without without the orb. Uh -huh. mm. um, there's another orb in here. And yeah. Plants. Light. Oh yeah. In that area. That oh was yeah. Oh, See, I thought it was a, oh, I I it was a smoke one. detector, but that's the smoke detector no, is right in the center. Because that's, that. yeah. that's what I thought it was too, yeah. but then you're looking yeah. the other way. Yeah. It's this side, because that one says no exit. Yeah. This one uh -huh. doesn't. Can you just go see here? I'm going to sit this down right here on the... 
Can you just go see her? I'm going to set this down right here on the... Can you just go see her? I'm going to set this down right here on the... Can you just go see her? I'm going to set this down right here on the... I'm going to set this down right here on the corner. I'm going to set this down right here on the corner. I'm going to set this down right here on the corner. I'm going to set this down right here on the corner. Old Long John Dunn House. Old Long John Dunn House. Long John Dunn House. Old Long John Dunn House. Upper body up to my torso and to my head. Mm. Started mm. in that direction. Mm. Upper body up to my torso and to my head. Mm. Started in that direction. Mm. Upper body up through my torso into my head. Mm. Started in that direction. Mm. Upper body up through my torso into my head. Mm. Started in that direction. Mm. You hear nuts. <laughs> you hear nuts. <laughs> you hear nuts. <laughs> you hear nuts. <laughs> Might just be my brother. 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 If there is anything else you'd like to say, now is your chance. I'm going to turn off this device, and you have 10 seconds. If there is anything else you'd like to say, now is your chance. I'm going to turn off this device, and you have 10 seconds. If there is anything else you'd like to say, now is your chance. I'm going to turn off this device. And you have 10 seconds. If there is anything else you'd like to say, now is your chance. I'm going to turn off this device. And you have 10 seconds. Do you think you can hear mm -hmm. us up here? Our voices. Yeah. Then this voice comes out. Oh my god, that one. Can you just go with
running in that direction. Hmm. Upper body of to my torso and to my head. <laughs> running in that direction. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Upper body of to my torso and to my head. <laughs> running in that direction. Hmm. I'm saying you're a nut to the cat. And she's again thing. Oh my god, I heard it! Wow, that's nuts. Wow. It essentially. We are certain that we can get more if we oh, um, absolutely. come back and do another and, and structure it slightly differently. Yeah. If you had anything. Yeah, the <clears throat> the chair sound. Mm -hmm. I've not heard it, but um, the porch down there, which it was a, uh, used as a porch, there's a picture that they said John Dunn would sit out there in his rocker. Mm -hmm. And there's a picture somewhere I can find that's it. That's what that sound and he's, is. It's a, a rocking rocker. chair. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. It's, it's not it's a John, John, step. John it's a sit rocking down. chair. Because see, the, because it's the a doors that we have. Right. Like it's a smoker. You know where that, that uh, uh -huh. smoker will do that. Uh -huh. You know, they'll uh -huh. sit, they'll light, uh -huh. they'll shift, they'll rock. Right. And it's it's that kind of the, every time you hear those footsteps, uh -huh. you see them, they're like doom, That's the doom, old doom. Doom. Right. The entrance. But then that the okay. original door right. is right. what went into Leatherworks. Okay. Uh -huh. And John had a chair he would sit sit in that's kind of in between that. With the door and the cash register. Okay. And it was an old wooden rocking chair. And you would sit out there. Wow. Um, look out.